This is just a short update on this bathroom that we've been working on. And what we've got done is we're pretty much ready for nothing but tile. Jolene came down and helped me get this wall done. I think it looks pretty darn good. We've got some glass mo mosaic tile that's going to go on it on top of this and then it's going to have a metal cap right about here, about five and a half inches up. It's going to go the whole way around the room and past that outlet and right across that window. Uh, of course the top of the window trim will come out and be cut around the tile so everything sits nice and flush. Then we have the bathtub. This is a Whirlpool tub. We got a shower niche. And if you'll notice, there's all this orange stuff in the room. That's not the color we picked out for the room. But this is a waterproof membrane by Schluter. This is, and this stuff you know, basically allows you to have a waterproof room. Uh, and it's basically a plastic barrier uh, with felt on it that you cement in place. And it goes right around the entire room. So this here is the shower stall, and if you'll notice, the orange goes all the way to the ceiling and encompasses the entire shower. This is a little niche, a little place to put, um, I don't know, different shower stuff in that have a shelf in it. And we also have one over on this wall. The waterproofing membrane goes all the way to the floor. And I put a couple layers of the Curdy membrane on the floor um, to try to increase the slope a little bit. I laid a almost one inch of a concrete base and sloped it towards the drain because even though we did level the floor, there wasn't enough slope in the preformed pan that came from Curdy, um, I mean that came with the Curdy system by Schluter, uh, to really make the water drain in the manner that I wanted it to drain. And so I put two layers of the uh, Schluter um, Curdy membrane on the floor just to try to increase the slope a little bit more. And then we got a big six inch curb that's right there and then this other orange stuff that's on the floor is another Schluter product this is a Ditra and this is an uncoupling membrane and this is on top of the concrete board that you can see that goes throughout this closet that's in here and the Ditra will allow for uh, movement in this floor so that the tile will not crack this white band that goes down through the middle of the floor, I ran out of thin set, so I'll finish this the next time that I have a little bit of thin set mixed up. But this is the seam that goes in between the sheets of two sheets of, of Ditra. It's about 40 inches wide, and this room is a little over 60 inches wide. So this piece of curdy membrane that goes down through the floor allows the floor to be 100% waterproof. I still got to clean up along the edge of that tub. I'm glad I came back and made this video so I can clean that up. And it also wraps up around the shower curb. You can kind of see it. It's embedded in there on the, on the curb. And that will keep this room basically 100% waterproof. Once the tile's installed, we'll put a bead of caulking um, probably a silicone product of some sort between the tub and the tile floor and come right around. We'll step back a little bit this way so you can see the tile that's on the wall. I got the last row to put down after I put the tile in on the floor so that that will be right up flush against that and I won't have to worry about any gaps between the wall and the floor because that row of tile will cover any mistakes that I make in cutting or measuring um, and then the the wall tile will be a lot easier to cut and fit down over top of the floor and you won't be able to see those 
uh, if I do make a mistake in cutting the wall tile. So this is the bathroom. Got some garbage in the tub I should pick out. And just a drill box and a, a curdy band box and a, and a jar that I was using for bringing water in here. Shower drain is glued in place and waterproofed. And then we have the bench, and the bench has been 100% waterproofed with the curdy membrane in the corners and overlaps and preformed corners. And everything is basically ready to go. Um, so I'm hoping tomorrow we can finish tiling this wall here. And then I'll put the glass mosaic along the top of that around this room and that glass mosaic will run right straight through this right behind that paint can right to the edge of that niche pick up there and go right around the room just under the shower valves which if you look real close right above my fingers where one of the shower valves is going then the other one you can kind of see it there it's a square that's a little different color and then there'll be another one right in here and those will be right on top of that band that's going to go around the room. So that glass mosaic will go the whole way around the room. It will be filled in on the back of these niches. And this niche here will also get that color glass mosaic. So that's what we got done. Uh, we're coming right along. Tomorrow we'll do the wall here and maybe the glass mosaic. And then I will start. The shower probably probably next week so we'll just go slow and get her done next week and that will be it for this bathroom